practical we are going to see how we can in implement the concept of socket programming so for the same we are going to use a uh, java now see students socket programming is actually a way of communicating data between two computers you know across a network now connections you know can be made using either a connection oriented protocol or a connection less protocol so basically see what is this socket socket a uh, communication endpoint hota hai you know that serves as a link between two machines on a network so you know it will have a port number which the tcp ip layer can use to identify the application that will receive the data and you know end point usually will include a port number and an ip address so over here in this particular program we have two categories of socket the very first is the client side and the other is the server side now basically the client side uh, socket will establish the communication between client and server and the server socket will await a request from the client so the client will have to know two things about the server that is the server ka ip address and the port number now see students jo port numbers hote hai from 0 to 1023 they are mainly used uh, for administrative purpose okay so what we are going to do is we are going to create a socket connection so we will create a connection by uh, you know using the uh, at the server side using the server socket can you see over here server socket so you know the server will construct a server socket object to specify the port number on which our conversation will occur now see one uh, another very important method is this accept method now this accept method is actually called by the server so that it can validate the incoming request to the socket and you know the client will then create a socket object by specifying the server name and the port number so basically the socket class constructor will here attempt to connect the client to the server using the port number which we have provided understood and you know uh, if the connection is successful the client and server then can communicate using the io stream so students the client and server uh, socket class are responsible for the io stream so at the uh, client's output stream communication will take place with the server's input stream this is important and the server's output stream will communicate with the client input stream so basically students a stream is a collection of sequence data two major type of streams hote hai ek hota hai students character stream you know which uh, basically uh, is used with the text files aur ek hota hai byte stream agar humko images wagaira use karna hai so you know we can use the byte stream a character stream student is a human readable language while byte stream jo hota hai wo machine readable hota hai so student at this server side a server socket is an object of the server socket that will use the constructor as you can see over here theek hai so yes over here you can see theek hai server socket is equal to new server socket theek hai and over here this 5000 is the port number what is this port number this is the number on which the server uh, server will listen for the client request and you know this object that is the server socket object will stay idle and it will wait for the network uh, request and our client will attempt to connect to the port uh, 5000 so we have to make sure the port are same otherwise our connection will fail so students down after this we have created a uh, two while loops can you see over here while true and over over here in the try now basically students the first while loop it will ensure that the server is running so this particular loop will ensure that the server is running the second loop will ensure that the server will interact with the client after the a connection is established and till what time it will uh, maintain this connection till the client disconnects so basically in this particular code we have used the methods uh, public can you see over here a uh, stream a uh, input stream this input stream is basically you know used to return the input stream object that will receive the data 
the output stream is basically used to return the output stream object so that we can send the data then students very important method which we have used over here is this accept this will await for client connection that is the program will not continue until the client is connected and when you connect you will get a socket object that can use to communicate with the client so remember students these method then students as you can see over here buffer reader very very important what it will do students it will wrap the input stream reader so that it can improve the efficiency can you see over here in this buffer reader we have passed this input stream reader so why we have done that it will wrap the input stream reader so that the efficiency is increased the writer over here it will wrap the output stream reader is it understood so reader use hota hai input stream ke liye aur writer buffer writer will be used for the output stream then students at, at this particular part what we are doing is buffered writer dot flush now this is also very important students it will flush it will flush the output stream matlab wo force karega koi bhi buffered output bytes ko to be overwritten the flush method is actually invoke students jab buffer hamara full ho jayega and at the end uh, void close kya karega this will stop waiting for request from the client that is this method will close the server socket so this was the uh, server side implementation now students at the uh, client side application we will come to the client side can you see over here at the client side there are two ways through which you can access a socket instance pehla hota hai students the server will receive it as a return value that is of the accept method and you know you can also use uh, this particular line uh, can you see over here socket is equal to new socket local now see students local host kya hota hai it is actually a domain name that will redirect you to your computer jaise ki 127.0.0.0 it will resolve that as the ip address and you know the second is the port number i told you previously also server pe and client pe dono pe port number kya hona chahiye same hona chahiye otherwise the connection will fail and after that students can you see over here we have used this input stream and output stream now why have we used this we will generate the io stream using the socket object so at the client side students we will you know also need to use the scanner object over here, here scanner i am at the server side we are side. using this now object your know, students so that run my uh, at the client side it will specify that we are getting the uh, keyboard now, input after running, can you uh, see humne likha hai system dot in this is very important students scanner bracket mein humne likha hai system dot in so client side pe we will use this scanner object q use karte because we want to get the user ka input and this system dot in basically will specify that we are getting this input from the keyboard so this is the uh, uh, implementation for the uh, client side now once uh, we have so uh, done the coding what, what we will is, be doing is uh, we will we are going to compile the code, code and, and then we can run the program first but over here what we are going to do is first we will run the server side application and then we will run the client side application server side so from here i am running my server application can you see yahan pe wo run ho raha hai then we will go at the client side client side pe i will go and i will run the client side so can you see this is the uh, server side this first tab and this is for the client side is it understood to everyone so do remember students first what we are going to do is we are going to execute the server side then we are going to execute the client side now students what we can do is you can type the message in the client window so ye kya hai client ka window hai so i will write hey there at the client window can you see server pe aaya message received and client is saying server side pe bol raha hai hey there see ke client ne kya bola hai hey there now students i will again go to the tab and over here i will write i am doing this first time so i will again server pe aaya message received you go client ne diya hai i am doing this first time so students this is a way uh, you know through which we can establish the uh, socket connection thank you